Hi everyone, this is Philip Martin from the Feeding Society. In this video, I'm going to review 4GN that LK Chen has sent me over the past couple of years. Uh, I've done cutting videos with the GN, but I haven't done a review. Uh, several of you have asked in the comments below the videos for my opinions on the, on the different GN that they offer. So in this video, I'm going to provide my impressions and experiences with the, the 4GN that you see behind me from LK Chen. So let's start with the first GN that LK Chen sent to me, the Gale Wind GN. It will look very familiar to practitioners of Chinese martial arts. It's the straight sword commonly used in Kung Fu and Tai Chi. The blade is 30 inches long. The weight is two pounds, five ounces, with a point of balance at four inches. I found it to be very effective at cutting and very easy to control during a thrust. So let's take a look at that cutting video that I made for the Gale Wind Gian. The next GN that LK Chen sent me was the Grand Marshal. This is an example of an early Ming Dynasty GN. Uh, the LK Chen website states that the robust blade is balanced by an equally robust handguard and pommel, resulting in an authoritative yet lively sword. And I definitely agree with that description. Uh, this GN delivers powerful cuts. Uh, and is very smooth transitioning from cut to cut. Um, the blade is 29 and a half inches long. The sword weighs two pounds, seven ounces, and balances at three inches from the guard, so a little closer to the guard. So let's watch that cutting video that I made for the LK Chen Grand Marshal Gian.
third gin that was sent to me by LK Chen was the Snow Peak Gin. The LK Chen website describes this as being created in the late 19th and early 20th century with both Chinese and European aesthetics and features during a time when martial arts were transitioning from battlefield application to the development of the practitioner. Uh, this Snow Peak Gian has a 31 and a half inch blade and it weighs two pounds five ounces with a point of balance at about four inches. So let's take a look at that cutting video that I made for this El Kitchen Snow Peak Gian. The last of these four Jian that was sent to me by LK Chen was the White Serpent Jian. It is by far the lightest and fastest of the four Jian. Uh, it's another Ming Dynasty Jian that is very, very ornate, suited for nobility or high ranking ministers. Um, the Jian has a 30 and one half inch blade. The weight is one pound 15 ounces and the point of balance is at four and three quarter inches. So let's take a look at the cutting video that I made for this LK Chen White Serpent Gian.
So having cut with these four GN and given you objective uh, measurements and performance characteristics, do I have a favorite or favorites? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, the, uh, the first GN that was sent to me, the Gale Wind, uh, is my favorite. Um, it handles and cuts very well. Um, one caveat there, though, is, is, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is very typical of GN that, that we train with um, in Chinese martial arts. Uh, it's what I'm accustomed to using, so I could be influenced by that. Um, a close second is the Grand Marshal. I was surprised by that sword. I didn't know what to expect with that sword, but uh, it was very, very smooth through the cuts, very powerful. Um, the White Serpent was fun to cut with, uh, very light and very beautiful sword, very ornate. But I sometimes found myself missing the authority in the cut that I had with the uh, heavier GN. And um, the Snow Peak would probably be my least favorite. Um, I think it may suffer from from its genesis as a recreation, a later recreation for martial arts rather than a battlefield weapon. Um, I didn't find that it cut as well. It did cut a, a mat as you saw on the video, but it doesn't cut as well as the other three GN. I appreciate LK Chen sending me these swords for review. So thank you, LK. Um, and I appreciate you who are watching this video, especially those of you who are subscribed. Uh, we just recently reached 2,000 subscribers, so thank you. I hope you found this comparison review helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching.